The lateral line is proudly partnered with Vertex Lubricants. As promised, the boys are on another one of their fishing missions, and this one is going to be a good one. Right now it is 11.30 on a Tuesday, and we ain't going to be back at my house until Friday afternoon. Three nights camping on the water, and we have one of our brothers from another mother, Andre, tagging along on this trip. Although Andre could only get away for the one night, so he's going to tow his boat down. Basically, he's just going to follow us to where we launch the boat, and then we'll launch our boat, and Milan's going to give him a hand to launch his boat, and then my plan is to jump from our boat onto Andre's boat, and then film the mighty Sojin charging through the water from another boat. I never get to film... Sojin from the outside, so that'll be really, really cool. And then, as always, the first job will be to catch some live bait and to catch some good snapper bait because we're only taking burly and a handful of pilchards on this trip. So yeah, the boys will require some bait. One, two, three, four. <laughs> it's raining fish. And then from there, we are charging out to some deep water fowl. We'll set up there for the evening, pump a big burly trail, and the boys have the mission of catching something to eat for dinner tonight. But if the boys fail at that, have no fear. Nato and his bow and arrow went hunting last week, and there is venison in the chili bin as a backup plan. <laughs> and we lost the fish. What do you got, man? I got Andre. <laughs> Milan and Andre are playing, uh, what do you call it, tug of war. Who's going to win? But if it not. <laughs> Time to get serious. Double burly to start. Always helps with a double burly. It's a beautiful burly trail already. Milan has been set the task of acquiring dinner, but a whole Mackie was the first bait that went out, so... That's a dinner fish. <laughs> That's a dinner fish is the call. We could pretty much eat the mackie. But yeah, just happy to be out in the wide open spaces once again. Bring it on. What's rod number two got? We'll put a whole pilly down and see if there's small ones down there. Whole pill chip. Took my bait, Nato. Took your bait? Every time it hits the bottom, dug, 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 dug. Andre reckons he's in. Not even now. All right, is that a run? Yep. What, what's the bait? Is that a big Mackie? Whole Mackie? Here we go. He's coming up tight. Stick it! Did you get it? Yep. Oh, he did get it. <laughs> that looks real good too. The fight is on. They like those mackies, eh? Yeah, everything eats mackerel, right? It's good fish, Nathan. <laughs> what is it though? It isn't a shark. There's too many tail beats for a shark. They're too fast. It's a kingy, eh? Yeah. It's a good kingy though, bro. You reckon? Yeah. Well, it did take a whole Mackie. First fish of the trip. First fish of the trip. And it's a ripper. Now's when you wish you had the Minn Kota over instead of the anchor. Yeah. Oh, he's losing line even. Losing a lot of line. Losing a lot of line. No snapper fights like that. Well, 
<laughs> I hope a snapper fights like that. <laughs> I hope a snapper fights like that. <laughs> nice first fish. <laughs> That's awesome. Lucky for you, mister, we're on the water for four days, although Andre isn't. Get some. Nice man. Whew. That's a way to start a trip. And we've got a big swirl at the back of the boat. I think the fishing this evening is going to get really, really, really good. Always like when the first fish of the trip is a kingfish. <laughs> Goes in good stead of what I'm into. Alright, let him rip, man. That's why we call it a fishing trip. <laughs> now you're talking my language, Mylon. So we're having venison for dinner then? <laughs> Andre, Andre's gonna get us a big one, eh? I mean a good eater one, eh, Andre? Yeah! <laughs> Never mind your big ones, me, man, we're hungry! Hi, hi, hi. Oh, that's a big kawaii. 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 This guy might be dinner yet, but I can't catch a snapper. Well, it all started off with a hiss and a roar with the first bait getting drifted down the burley trail coming up with a kingfish, but since then, really all we've done is watched a beautiful sunset, which of course isn't a bad thing. But that's okay, we've got three whole, well two whole days and one half day left, so pretty soon we will be pulling anchor and heading in to find an anchorage, rafting up with Andre for the night, I hear talk of beautiful dinner, including venison that NATO acquired with his bow and arrow, so it's all good. Then it'll just be kicking back and waiting for the sun to come up, and we'll be doing it all again. Odie's come fishing too. Hey Odes. I caught a you good like fishing man. Can you yeah, about you're a crazy dog. Living you're a crazy little dog, mate. Oh, that is sick, mate. You did well, Milan. I like it. Roasties on the boat, man. Roasties on the boat. I've never seen anyone cook broccoli like that before. Barbecue broccoli. Barbecued broccoli? Yeah, I'm a fan of barbecue broccoli. Little bit of a sleep in this time round, which was quite nice. I normally just stay in my tent until Milan wakes up and then I get up, so. Milan didn't get up till like, what? 6.30. 6.30? Milan's normally out of bed at like 4 and 5.30 and 4 and 3.30 and all these crazy numbers like that. But it's all good. Breakfast is on its way and then we'll get cleaned up, sorted out and then go find somewhere to pump a big birdie trail. Oh, there's a bug in that one, bro. Bug. Look at that one. That going in your coffee. Oh, good bug. How are you this morning, Odes? What are you up to, man? What do you do, man? Do you sleep good? With lateness comes pulling down the tent quickness. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good one, eh? It's not bad English. I got the job of taking the dog to the toilet because I got waders. 
That's okay, eh? Me and Odie are mates. All right, there's been a little change of plans. Milan reckons trying to catch kingfish with the conditions that we've got, an outgoing tide and southwest wind is going to be more than challenging. So the mission this morning is to send Andre home with a decent amount of snapper to feed him and his kids. And I reckon between the three of us, we should be able to get that done. I think Milan's got a new mate. Odie. <laughs> Where's my live bait? Odie. What are you doing, Odie, you crazy dog? We couldn't just drive past the bait. The live bait tank is looking awesome now. We've got NATO up. NATO's going to see if he can catch a fish. 20 pounder, here we come. Oh, Andre's got one. Outfish NATO. Oh, NATO's into a massive one. Oh, it's stripping line. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> it didn't take long. <laughs> oh. It's only like my fourth cast. Well, my fourth sink, I should say. Oh, look at that feeling. Oh, it's a solid snapper. Don't lose it over the side. That's the whopper, man. You're good at losing them. Oh, NATO. Get him in the boat. We really need to get ourselves a net that tucks nicely away in the boat somewhere. Because I just about lost that one. I'm one of these people that enjoys the struggle of things. I'd rather struggle all day and catch one fish than catch fish one after the other for the entire day. But I have to admit that there is something very, very cool about turning up to one of those muscle barges and knowing that you're going to get as many fish as you want or need. Well, on the right day, of course, but today was again the right day. And you just drop a soft bait straight into the chute where the shags are working where all the food's coming off that barge and it just sinks down as does everything else leaving the barge and decent snapper are sitting there whacking it one after the other the mission this morning was to get andre some food so we thought oh, we'll go snapper fishing between the three of us we should be able to get him enough snapper to eat and then spied the barge and we put four in our boat two we'll eat tonight We'll keep the two bigger ones just in case Andre isn't able to get what he wants from the barge. And if not, we'll give him the two bigger ones. And if he doesn't want them, that'll be dinner tomorrow night. But for now, we have found what Milan believes to be a good kingy spot. We are anchored. Milan started with another one of his double burly surprise. I don't know, I can't remember what he called it double special or something like that. Anyway, two burly bombs in the water. Milan's rigged up, a live bait is already swimming. So we'll hang around here for as long as it feels good. And then at some point today, Andre is gonna be departing. And at that point, I think we are gonna put the hammer down and go north. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is when you find out how good your gear is when you hook mother earth and she's like i want your rod and your reel <laughs> no milan's gear is good he's pulled up half the bottom something i miss doing tubing in a burly trail very effective way of catching big fish The head bait got eaten. <laughs> Always good to put a head down, eh? <laughs> when you cast it out, I was like, I should have filmed that. You got the live bait as well. Oh no. Oh, anchor. He's going for the anchor. We got a line screamer. Is he on the anchor? No. You don't know? It's a big fish, I'm going to have to put the phone down and help Milan, <laughs> just in case. Because whatever it is, it's good.
Got him. Who's still got the fish? Now the fish is in the weed? Yep. <laughs> ah! Tricky fish that one, round the anchor, over there, in the weed. Is he still there you reckon? Is he still hooked? I think he's still hooked. Just leave him for a bit. Let him swim out. Yeah. I think he would have tried to swim out by now. We left the, we left the rod sitting in the front of the boat for a bit. Gone. Gone. Ah. Not Just left. Enough. Just left the rod sitting at the front of the boat for a while and hoped for the best. But Milan just got spanked! <laughs> it's not funny, man. It is funny, man. You catch big fish, not let them go. It's funny when you get spanked, not when I get spanked. You know? You okay? Yep. You're okay, eh? Yep. You're not going to cry or anything, eh? another massive bait out and yeah. catch another massive fish. Just do it again, man. Yeah. Not here to lose fish. Yeah, now you bring out the big gear. Well, it's not really big gear, it's just bigger gear. We got ourselves another bottom fish. Are you going to pull up Mother Earth this time or are you going to get busted? Busted. Oh. <laughs> you realise how strong the gear is when you get hooked up on the bottom, eh? <laughs> Come on, Milan! Use them muscles! Woo! You did it! There's a little bit of wind, and we're not feeling the love, even though Milan got spanked by something fairly decent. We are gonna move and go find somewhere sheltered with current and lose the rest of this burly. Andre's coming with us too, so it's all good. It ain't over yet. We've got days before it's over. Days before it's over. Can't give up! Can't give up! Who said anything about giving up? What do you do, man? What do you do, you crazy little dog, man? That doesn't look like it's gonna hold. Stick it in his back, man. And he's gonna go on the weed, though. And we're Reckon. on a weed line. Just keep him close to the boat so I can form an insane surface strike. I like forming insane surface strikes, Melane. Well, this spot is much nicer. We've got Andre rafted up right next to us. So we've got double, double burlies pumping. Andre's got burly off his boat, we've got burly off our boat. Live baits are deployed. We'll kick back here, it's so nice and flat here. We're about to cook up some lunch and make some coffee and just chill out for the afternoon and see what happens. No, go, 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 you're coming. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, hit it. Oh, he's way over. He's right on the shallows there, look. He's wasting your live bait right there. Put, put another, have you got another one? Take this one, bro. I've got a tangle up. That came out of absolutely nowhere. I had my phone down. Milan's like, I'm hit, I'm hit, I'm hit. I quickly, quickly, quickly got the phone organised. And then by the time I did that, the fish had chased the live bait right around into the shallows over there. I reckon it had eaten it and spat it back out. And it had just exploded on the surface and I seen the fish jumping out of the water right in front of the kingy. Look at him, still eating it. Oh, who's got a stick bait rigged up? I have in there. I got a stick bait rigged up and that fish is still smashing over on the corner there. Oh, can I have a crack? It's okay. Oh, he's right in there, Nathan. Yeah, I know. Get it in there. It's a good fish too. That live bait must be hard in there. Right in there, mate. He's just sitting. Look at him. Oh, look at him. Oh, pretty good. Oh, he eats it. Oh. Whoa. Come on. Oh. Did you lose your lure? Oh, he just popped off. Oh, did you 
see that? <laughs> that was spectacular. I didn't know what to watch. Oh, man. Oh, I just pulled it off. That was a good fish, bro. Real good fish. Fresh fish. Well, since that big kingfish and since lunch, everything has been a little bit quiet. We followed Andre back to the campground and Milan gave him a hand to put his boat on the trailer and he has taken himself home. And we spent the afternoon cruising around trying to find good, well, just a good spot out of the wind to target a kingfish. And I believe we did that but we didn't catch a kingfish, although Milan did catch a nice snapper on a soft bait out of the burley trail, which was pretty cool, really. But I think with the two to three hours of daylight that we have left, we're gonna go find our anchorage early today. Pretty keen to just hang out on the boat and take it easy, so we're gonna go and do just that, have an early dinner. Tomorrow, the weather is perfect, and we are, fingers crossed, hoping to do a big run north and hunt a couple of big rocks at the end of the peninsula for massive kingfish and big snapper again. I'm hoping to get my stick bait right out and see if I can catch a good kingfish on my stick bait. Soft baits, burly trails, you name it, we'll be doing it. But for now, yeah, just gonna go in and kick back and enjoy the afternoon. I might even put my phone to the test and do some time lapses. Just what we needed. They don't forgot all the rags. We are just about to put the hammer down and charge north like an hour run and then we will be in prime position for tomorrow morning's carnage. Rather than staying down here and waiting till the morning and then going all the way up and missing out on the best part of the day, yeah, we'll just do it right now. So I'm going to click my fingers and it'll probably be night time on the top coast. Tent will be up. Dinner will be cooking, life will be good. Got a lot of eating going down today. <laughs> Not a lot of fishing, but a lot of eating. <laughs> We've made it all the way up to the top of the coast and we are right now perched in prime position to wake up tomorrow and where we want to fish is like right there. So tents up, dinner's had, we're all ready to go to bed and it's only like 6.30 but Big day tomorrow and a big day had today, so it won't be long and it will be bedtime. And we will see you in the morning. Good morning time. Good morning. If I can use the lantern. You can have the lantern. Thanks, man. All the normal morning rituals have been completed. And the boys are now in search of some live baits. Once they have been acquired, then there are some very what do you call them? Insane pieces of structure sitting smack bang in the middle of some awesome current zone. So we're going on a kingy hunt. I'll be up the front with my stick bait and my soft bait rod. Milan will be down the back with live baits and whatever else. Milan couldn't catch a live bait, so first up is NATO on the stick bait. <laughs> hey Milan. Yeah. You couldn't catch a live bait. I'll catch one here though. It'll be <laughs> out the back slow trolling by in the boat while you're stick baiting. Lots of current. You're moving far. Yep.
Mate, I got, got a... The live bait. The live bait? Yep. We now have a massive oh, live bait and tote. Bait is stacked in deep. Are there any kings here? Might be glasses time. This is a bit wild for NATO, so we're going to head back into the coast. No point getting banged around when you don't need to. This is definitely a little bit more like me. <laughs> it was pretty wild out there, but in here it is absolutely mint. Leland's just gonna get a uh, reasonable size car wide because the two that he got from Channel are massive. And then uh, it'll be drag a live bait and NATO stick baiting time. There's gotta be tennis here. If that one gets eaten, man, she's gonna be wild. There's a lot of bait. We're just gonna work the area now. Two of them. We've got kingies here, but they just aren't feeding. Well, the weather is perfect, and the conditions are absolutely stunning. It's beautifully flat, there's birds working, there's kawai feeding, there's fish on the sounder, there's you name it, we got it. I have just done a massive circuit around the island with a stick bait cast through all of the feeding kahawais. I then put the stick bait down, picked up the soft bait and soft baited all the way along the coast and in and out of gutters and little bits of fowl and amongst the feeding kahawai and nothing, absolutely nothing other than a couple of kahawai which Milan was very appreciative of, very appreciative of, so that he can run a live bait so the plan is now to put what Milan described as a stupid <laughs> amount of burley in the water, fish hard here, see if we can't pull some big kingies and big snapper up into a burley trail and try and catch them. And then once the burley has run out, we will min -co to the coast as far as we can until our batteries are saying, and then it'll be home time. Milan's burly trail looks awesome from the air. We've got a plague of kawaii. We've just got blue mau mau turned up and there's even been a few nice kingies cruising around. What do you mean you can't catch a fish to save yourself? I can't catch my real big ones. It's good fun trying though, right? It's the bit that we like the best. <laughs> Lucky, eh? It is frustrating though. <laughs> uh, moving on. Headed down the coast, drag a live bait, cast a soft bait, see what we can find. It's just not feeling fishy today at all, even after seeing kingfish. Okay, live bait's out. Let the game begin. Milan live bait gets eaten, I'm forming. If my soft bait gets eaten, Milan's forming. See you when some line is screaming. We put three hours into min codering along what I would have said was an awesome piece of coast. Casted soft baits the whole time. Milan went from dragging live baits to casting stick bags, casting poppers, you name it, we done it and we did it all for one snapper. <laughs> but that's fishing, some days it's easy, some days it's like, you don't know what the heck you're doing. But it's all good, we made the run back down into the Gulf. It is a stunning afternoon weather-wise. Milan has just picked out a little island. He's never fished it before, I've never fished it before, but it looks good from the boat and from the air, so you just never know. Milan managed to pick up a kawai on the way down the coast, so we've got that to stick in the water. And we've got two burly bombs left. And what are you looking at? Yeah, the reef in himself getting shades coming to the surface real fast. He's got a kingy behind him. Yep. 
Only little though. What happened to lunch? Lunch is cooking, man. <laughs> lunch is on hold. Here's a kingy. Still there? Uh, I haven't seen him again. There's a whole pilly going out to Mr. Kingfish. He's following the live bait, and the live bait's over there. Yeah, he's still right behind it. Where is he? He's right where the live bait is. Swirling on it. Here he comes. Oh, did he eat it? Did he eat nah, it? it's bigger than 10 it's kilos. It's bigger than 10 kilos. Definitely bigger than... Oh! Ho, 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 ho. It's heaps bigger than 10 kilos, bro. <laughs> it is almost big. Here he comes again. Oh. It's oh. a good fish, Milan. Oh, that's a hog, bro. It's a real good fish. Here he comes. He's coming back up on it. Here you are. It's a good fish. <laughs> <laughs> on your live bait. Oh, look at the size. Yep, there's big kingfish, bro. That's a good one. There's two or three there. It's a big kingy swimming around the live bait. They're swimming around upside down. That isn't really a live bait anymore. So, quick, quick, there he is, Milan. I can see him. He's right underneath your other live bait. That's <laughs> a big fish, bro. Oh, it's a look big fish. Takes my car out. Oh, please eat that. Come to the surface, I just want to see you properly. Oh, it's all happening. There he is there, he's swimming around the pilchard. That's a bit, there's two, a little, a little fish just ate the pilly. Do I leave the live bait on? Take, take, leave that live bait on and put Make sure you put it in the clip, man. <laughs> I've seen one big fish, real big fish, and two smaller ones, and I can't even talk. And I just watched one of the smaller ones, which I'd say like 15 kilo-ish. I just ate the pilchard that Milan threw over. Oh, the other one was right on its face. Oh, these two, they're both good fish. Oh, your dive bait just got scoffed, man. Yeah, 100%. Come on. Am I too excited? No. Is it just a livey? No. That's a kingy. It is a kingy? Yep. <laughs> oh, no, is it the livey? It looks like a pretty big bloody livey if that's a livey, man. No, it's a kingfish. It has to be a kingy, man. <laughs> 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 oh, the 10 foot rod's gonna give you a pasting, man. <laughs> What's all these rods? These rods everywhere. <laughs> I'm trying to go up the stairs and there's a big rod in the way. I just wanted to get rid of that. <laughs> I just take him out of the water. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Now we'll see how good you are on that big 10 footer. That was a big live bait, man. That could have been that real big fish that we seen earlier. <laughs> oh, nice work, Milan. We've had fish swimming around the boat constantly coming up, eating bits of cubes and good fish, chasing the live baits. But one's finally eaten. We got a hook in one. <laughs> I can't move him. He's not really fighting hard yet, eh? Oh. Well, he is, but you know what I mean? He's not pulling string. That was a big livey, man. Here comes a good fish. <laughs> it took yeah. a while, but Three we got days one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Milan squatting on the deck. <laughs> Can you see him? Yep. He's not that big, eh? Isn't he? Considering the size of the live bait. It was a huge livey. Beautiful fish. Tank. Nice. <laughs> so you having a go at the Minkota. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't over yet. 
stroppy mm. fish. Big tail on them. Oh, man, we've worked for that fish, Nathan. Yeah. It's always better when you got to work for them, though, right? Oh, when the reward's that, 100%. <laughs> Oh, we've got a scrap going on. Oop, you got him. <laughs> nice fish, Milan. Glad I was on the Saltiga for that one. <laughs> Where's the hook? Just in his mouth. Can you get it? Yeah. Well, lucky for him because we're going home tomorrow. Hey. <laughs> nice work. <laughs> you got a big kingy between your legs, Marlon. Oh, man. <laughs> Has that been a frustrating few days? No, it's not frustrating. It's real good fun. It is good fun. It's good fun when you get one in the boat after all that work. Yeah! Had a nice photo for the paper. You're not going to tell me something cool? I tell you what, <laughs> they're the most rewarding fish when you fish that much and you put that much burly and that much time into them. Even a fish like this just makes you put a smile like you wouldn't believe on your face. He really put me through my paces. I thought it was going to be 30. But it's a big one. <laughs> Got to you, bugger. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love it when you finally get one. That was awesome. We're going to hang out here for like another 20 minutes and then head for our anchorage. Get into our anchorage early tonight before it gets dark. I want to um, just muck around with the drone and film the tent up on the boat from the outside with the drone. Normally when we set the tent up, it's always dark. So Big fish under the boat. Here we go again. What, he ate the cubes? Oh, yeah. Did he eat it? Yep. Right. Look at them down there, there's three or four of them down there. <laughs> Worry about the one that you got hooked. <laughs> so much for getting to the anchorage. It's all on. <laughs> Why is it so funny? <laughs> oh, that one looks good too. That one's pulling more line than the last one. <laughs> it's more brutal to fight. Yeah, is it as big a fish as the last one? I think it's bigger. Bigger than the one you just caught? Yeah, there was two real big slogs down there. Get him, Marlin! You get that kingfish! <laughs> I can't stop laughing. God, I love catching kingfish. <laughs> I love watching you catch the them. <laughs> Talk about finish with a hiss and a roar! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, perseverance. Perseverance paying off. <laughs> Why does it all have to come all at once though? Why couldn't we caught one yesterday and one the other day instead of two straight away? Because <laughs> we like two straight away. Yeah. I can't get the hook out. It's kind of... You better get it out. Oh, yeah. hey, what are you going to do? Just cut the line. Oh, you lose your fish, man. I need the scissors. Where are the scissors? Oh, how do you do that? Milan just bit through, what? 100 pound line. Don't do that at home, kids. Spiked as well. He's getting a good hiding from this fish. Oh. <laughs> I like the rewards coming. Nano's like, oh, they shouldn't even really to come at the end, but I love them coming at the end. <laughs> Well, you know, we could have caught one fish yesterday and one fish today, rather than all the fish today. You were a good little scrapper, dude. That was a great afternoon. <laughs> Finished pretty good, eh? I'll tell you what, we've worked three days, we've had so much frustration, we've missed some really big fish. But you just keep on going. You're here, you're on the water, you enjoy it. We actually kind of gave up on the top coast and came back down, had some lunch, chilled out and relaxed, picked a nice spot to burley and that was comfortable. 
out of the wind and then it all happens. Just about just finding your hot spot, finding your good little vibe, and away you go.